Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're gonna to match string, match ending string patterns. Uh, in the last challenge, you learned to use the caret character to search for, for patterns at the beginning of strings. There is also a way to search for patterns at the end of strings. You can search the end of strings using the dollar sign character at the end of the regex. I often call it a bling character because I think they say bling in j jQuery. Uh, the ending, this is a never ending story. And then they're saying story regex uh, with, the, with the money sign. And then we test it there and it returns true. But if we see, if we say no ending where the word story is in the middle of the string and we use the same regex, meaning the story regex, which is here, story regex, and we test the string with that, it returns false because story is not at the beginning of the string. So use the anchor character, oh, they call it anchor character, to match the string caboose at the end of the string caboose. So here we've got caboose. Uh, we want to change just this line. Let's console.log the result. We've got false right now. So what are we saying? Change, what, what this code right now is saying is that the word ch change is not literally in this string. If it were in here, this would turn out to be true. But that's unimportant because what we want to do is match the word caboose. And now it's true here. But what happens if caboose were in the middle of the string? it would still turn out to be true. But that's not what we're trying to test. We're trying to see if the word caboose is at the end of the string. And for us to do that, we need to add a anchor symbol right here. So now it's true when it's at the end, but if we were to move caboose to the middle of the string, it would still render out to be false. If we move it back to the end, it's true. So if we run the test, we see they pass. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.